celebration of the Eucharist, we join Cosmas and Faith Kumakech to thank God for the life of their son Celestine Mungriek on his sixth birthday. They pray for good health and God's protection upon him. They also pray for Esther, Gloria, Matilda, Paul and Timothy as they start the exams today. Chomhendo Sylvia praise for the P7 candidates that the Almighty God may help Ramsey Kakosa, Norin, and Travin to pass their exams. Margaret Bako thanks God for the gift of life on her birthday and a praise for Robert with whom she shares the same birthday. She prays for God's blessings. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Holy Week is a special gift to us, and the Lord holds a mirror towards us so that we may see who we really are. And when we learn to see clearly, then we shall see him also as our redeemer, and we see the others as brothers and sisters. Let us ask the Lord, who knows us through and through, for mercy, because we need it most. I confess to the Almighty God, and, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I fail to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May the mighty God have mercy on us, 
forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray almighty ever-living god grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon this is our prayer for our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Listen to me, O island, and pay attention, you people from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother, he named me my name. He made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, incline your ear to me, and save me. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. Be my rock, my constant refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold, my God, free me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. My mouth will tell of your salvation. My mouth will tell of your justice and all the day long of your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth and I proclaim your wonders still. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord.
Hail our King, obedient to the Father, you were led to crucifixion like a meek lamb to the slaughter. Speak your word and we shall be The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus reclining with his disciples was troubled in spirit and terrified, testified, Truly, truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another and certain of whom he spoke. One of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, was lying close to the breast of Jesus. So Simon Peter beckoned to him and said, Tell us who it is of whom he speaks. So lying thus close to the breast of Jesus, he said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is he whom I shall give this morsel when I have dipped it. So when he had dipped the morsel, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Then after the morsel, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now no one at table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the money box, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the morsel, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and in him God is glorified. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. The servant of Yahweh presented to us in the book of Isaiah seems to have toiled in vain. His work was not rewarding at all. He seems to have given out his energy for nothing. And that happens when he saw that there was no change in the attitude of those to whom he was sent to draw the hearts of all to God who had taken them out of Egypt, out of slavery. I have toiled for nothing. This experience is very disheartening. And then we notice that Isaiah recognizes another aspect of that, what he's doing. When he says, yet my God became my strength. Just to say, I don't rely 
on that what I do, and it will all not depend on my success in a mission, but I know who is at work. Jesus must have made the same experience to be surrounded by friends whom he needed in that critical moment, yet they do not understand him. He speaks only about two, Judas and Simon Peter, but what he was telling them at table was valid for everyone, and in fact it became true. These friends of his ran away when he was arrested. We are in a week that should characterize our radical discipleship. And not only discipleship, but a moment to reflect on the quality of our friendship with Jesus. Whether we are people who follow him when things are all right, or we are people who are ready to even go up to the cross. Judas sold him. Peter denied him and all the rest ran away from him. How are we present when we follow the Lord? Are we really the friends in need so that we may become indeed his friends? He's inviting us to let ourselves be seen by him who arouses in us also the voice of conscience when we speak of the cock crow in the case of, of Peter, we should be made aware of that voice within us that in a way accuses us when our indifference has taken over control, when our selfishness and preserving our life become only the motivations in life. May the Lord assist us that our living of this moment in the Holy Week may make us real friends who are ready to be where their true friend is. The Lord is with you. My dear brothers and sisters, that this our offering may be pleasing to God, the merciful Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at my Jesus. hands for, for the, the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O oh Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient fall is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Cyprian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, the Holy Uganda Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Obedient to the Master's command and ready to be formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus the christ for the kingdom the power and glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church gracious the grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen may the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy, worthy that you should, I should enter and under my roof, but not only say, say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ strengthen us on our journey of discipleship. Amen. Amen. Breathe. 
Let us pray. <laughs> Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go with the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. A blessed and fruitful day to you all. Same to you, Father. We love chant tete ku we love 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 chant it a we love we love we love we love we love chant it a while We love chant it, we love chant it, we love, we love chant it, we love, we love.